Hi everyone, this is Sammy. Today I'm going to show you how to make these Zentangle earrings. So let's get started. To make these earrings, you can purchase some wooden heart shapes at the craft store, or you can make your own by gluing several layers of cereal box together. And you can actually sand these so you can get a nice even edge. To make these today, I folded a piece of paper in half and cut out a heart shape like that. And then I traced it onto a piece of cardstock. To do my design, I just drew another heart shape just inside my first lines. And then I divided it like this. In this outside section, I just did some little triangle shapes all the way around. In this little section, I just made little wavy lines. In this section, I did circles. And in this section, I just did like a big open swirl. Just kind of like a number six. Like that. Then I took a Sharpie marker and I just went over these lines. And here, I filled in all of these triangles. Also made a heavier line on the outside. Like that. I used school glue to glue three layers of cereal box together. And then I glued the heart on top. Now, if you move your item around like that until you feel it grabbing, you'll have good adhesion. Then I'm just going to press down on it, make sure that everything is all connected. And then I cut it out along the outside of that black mark. Now you can take a black marker and go all around the outside edge. With a map tack, I punched a hole here at the top and here at the bottom. Then I passed a jump ring through the bottom hole and I put a little bead on the jump ring. You can find videos in my jewelry playlist on how to make your own jump rings. And I passed also a jump ring here in the top. I added a little link of beads by just taking a piece of wire, making a loop at one end, passing on some beads, made a loop at the top, and attached it to an ear wire. I have lots of videos in my playlist on how to make these links and how to make your own ear wires. And then with a brush, I brushed on a coat of very thin diamond finish or nail polish. If you use nail polish, you will have to seal this black marker before you proceed because it will just smear it all. So you can do that with either the very thin diamond finish or by applying one layer of school glue as a barrier. If you don't want your earrings to be black and white, you can use any watercolor to change the color. So just I'm just going to take this pink color, so I could just paint some pink here. And maybe I'll put some blue up here. And so then you can have a colorful earring. And that's it. That's how easy it is to make some Zentangled earrings. Thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to click like if you liked it.